diversity? Can any one of you explain what is diversity? What is meant by diversity combining techniques? We have two types of diversity combining techniques. One we call it as selection diversity where the best signal is being used, selected and processed. In combining diversity, we have multiple number of signals are being received. The same copy is being transmitted by the transmitted at the and the same copy is received at the receiver with different diversity techniques. It could be a spatial diversity, it could be temporal diversity. We have seen all different types of diversity in the previous class. So, Today, we will be seeing one of the most important diversity technique called as selection combining. After the receiver has received a set of signals, what it has to do? It has to select the best signal or it has to make the, it has to deliver an output where we have all these signals being processed individually or in group. Okay. There are four important diversity techniques. The first one is called as selection combining. The second one is threshold combining, maximal ratio combining, equal gain combining. So we have two types, selection and combining. In one first case, what we'll be doing is that we will be selecting the best signal. Okay. The second case where we will be selecting the combination of all the received signals. We have four types of combining in which we will be studying only selection combining and maximal ratio combining which is there in your syllabus. In today's session, Due to shortage of time, we'll be winding up with selection combining. Let us see what is selection combining. With selective combining, the diversity branch yielding the highest bit energy to noise ratio is always selected. We have a good number of signals being received at the receiver's end. Okay, so in selection combining what we are going to do is that we are going to select the best signal out of the received signals. The signal with the highest signal to noise ratio. Okay, EB by N naught. In other terms, Suppose we have M branches, we will select the ith branch where the received signal Ri square plus Ni is chosen assuming that the noise is the same on all branches. The branch with Ri, Ri being the highest received signal, Ri square plus Ni. We have both constructive and destructive noises appearing. So, let us assume that the noise in all branches are the same. So, the branch with the highest Ri square plus Ni is being chosen and how we will be choosing it, we will see it. Since only one branch output is used, cofacing is not required, right? Co-facing of multiple branches is not required. Hence, this technique can be used with coherent or differential modulation. So, let us consider an M branch diversity then in that case the CDF or the cumulative distribution function 
CDF of gamma sigma that is the sum of the signal to noise ratio of all the received signals will be given by what is known as p gamma sigma of gamma right the probability of the sum of all these values right probability of the signal to noise ratio being higher than gamma the required value so what will be that so what will be that p of gamma sigma sorry p gamma sigma of gamma okay this will be given by the probability that this gamma sigma is greater than is greater than the signal to noise ratio of all branches okay in other words the probability is chosen such that we have the maximum value that is being chosen from the different branches from gamma 1 gamma 2 to gamma m that is nothing but the product of all probabilities where the i is less than gamma we have m different branches so we will be having m different signal to noise ratio each for each branch so let us consider the ith branch where we are getting the signal to noise ratio which is less than the summation or the total of all the signals to noise ratios that is there for all the m branches now in that case the outage probability is defined as p out is equal to p gamma sigma of gamma not that means that the probability that the sum of all these signal to noise ratios is threshold or above the threshold signal to noise ratio that is why we have used here this term called as gamma not you may get problems based on this so please so what we are doing is that we are evaluating p gamma of gamma were at gamma not that means p gamma sigma of gamma not that we have defined is the outage probability now let us consider the instantaneous signal to noise ratio on the ith branch so it will be given let us consider it to be given as gamma i is equal to ri by ri square by n where ri is the received signal at the end or the received signal at the 
eight branch. So defining the average signal to noise ratio, wherever we use average, we have this tilde, right? Gamma I tilde is equal to E of gamma I, the SNR distribution. We are going to find out the signal to noise ratio distribution. Okay, so the average signal to noise ratio at the I to branch is defined as gamma I tilde. We have it as the expectation of all these values E of gamma I. So, the SNR distribution of P gamma I, which we are expected to find out, will be equal to 1 by the average SNR tilde gamma I E raised to minus gamma I by tilde gamma I. We have defined gamma i to be ri square by n. So the SNR probability distribution will be exponential. So next important definition, the outage probability for the target gamma i on the i to branch in ray line fading conditions will be p out gamma naught is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus gamma naught by gamma i. The outage probability of the selection combiner for the largest gamma naught is then given by so here the outage probability for the gamma naught. Here we have it as 1 minus e raised to minus gamma naught by gamma i tilde. That means that to the average of all the SNRs up to the ith value. Okay. So in that case, we will be finding out the outage probability of gamma naught for the largest gamma naught, which will be nothing but the product of all values where from I to M, where P gamma I is less than gamma naught. So in other words, it is nothing but this one, right? product of all values 1 minus e raised to minus gamma naught by gamma i. If the average SNR for all branches of the, of all branches are same, that means the gamma I bar is equal to gamma bar or gamma I tilde is equal to gamma tilde. That means let us consider that the signal to noise ratio for all branches are the same, then the previous equation that reduces to P out of gamma naught is equal to P a gamma I less than gamma naught, which is nothing but 1 minus 
e raised to minus gamma not by gamma so the outage probability p out gamma not is equal to p gamma i less than gamma not which is in other terms nothing but 1 minus e raised to minus gamma not by gamma bar we have that multiplication of pi so we have it m times so we have it raised to m right so now our objective is to find out the distribution of the signal to noise ratio in the entire stream entire m branches am i right so distribution of gamma sigma is given by the differentiation of p gamma sigma of gamma by d gamma so in that case we are differentiating this with that we will get p gamma sigma we have given that we have found out that p gamma sigma at gamma is equal to m by gamma tilde 1 minus e raised to minus gamma by gamma tilde whole by whole raised to m minus 1 e raised to minus gamma by gamma tilde where gamma tilde stands for the average snrs at each point of time so now what we are going to do is that we are going to differentiate this with respect to d gamma when we differentiate we'll get the distribution distribution function of gamma sigma the average signal to noise ratio of the combiner output in iid rail line fading is the integral of gamma into p gamma p gamma sigma of gamma d gamma just now we have found out this value just now we have found out this value we are going to substitute this value in this equation so on substitution we'll get see this value we have determined in the previous slide so we are substituting it here on substitution and integration we'll get the final value of the average signal to noise ratio of the combiner output to be the average signal to noise ratio sigma i is equal to 1 to m 1 by i so what is the average signal to noise ratio of the combiner output in a selection combining technique this is a very important definition you will get this directly in your university exams if you have not understood or you have any queries you can ask me so let me summarize what we have done first one we have found out p of gamma i which is nothing but 
1 by probability of the signal to noise ratio at the ith branch p of gamma i which is equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma i into 1 minus or just e raised to minus gamma i by gamma i tilde that means that it has the average value of all the signal to noise ratios okay second what we did we found out that the average outage probability p out probability average outage probability p out p out at gamma not to be equal to 1 minus e raised to minus gamma not by gamma i tilde so what is outage probability what is outage probability p out is equal to 1 by what is outage probability p out is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus gamma not by gamma i tilde the average of all the snrs what is outage probability the outage probability p out p out p out is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus gamma not by gamma i tilde so now let us see some more importance of selection combining why do we want to use selection combining or in which all situations we will be so the average signal to noise ratio snr gain and corresponding array gain is increasing with the number of branches but not linearly so first thing first point what we have is that the average signal to noise ratio gain snr gain and the corresponding array gain increase with m but not linearly the biggest gain is obtained by going from no diversity to two branch diversity increasing the number of diversity branches from 2 to 3 will give much less gain okay then from 1 to 2 in general increasing m yields diminishing returns in terms of array gain so this is a graphical comparison of p out versus gamma bar by gamma not and this is p out this is p out outage probability in case next is the probability of error 
एवरेज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एरर विथ आई 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 डी रेल लाइन शेडिंग सो कमिंग टू द लास्ट वन पॉइंट दैट वी नीड टू डिस्कस रिलेटेड टू सिलेक्शन कंबाइनिंग what is the major disadvantage of selection combining well our common sense would say that it is very easy that we need to have a continuous monitoring of which branch is having the highest signal to noise ratio right in selection combining what we are doing is that we are selecting the branch with the highest signal to noise ratio so that we don't need all the receivers at one time at one time we need only a single receiver and we have now defined the our combiner output sigma gamma sigma for the, the signal to noise noise ratio of the combiner output right yes or no so we need a continuous monitoring of signal to noise ratio so that which branch is having the highest snr needs to be found out and that should be the output of the combiner so thank you all for listening in the next class we will be seeing what is maximal ratio combining so thank you all thank you very much